Okay, hello, today we're going to have a look at the Last Hope Tower Defense level of Dead End. It's probably the level that gave me the most trouble getting to three stars, um, but I'll show you the way that I've figured it out and uh, hopefully it helps you. Now generally in levels I'll build towards the back, sort of I figure I know where my ends are, so uh, that's the way I'll approach it. But with this level I found it's actually a lot better if you go forward. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get our... We're just going to start off with six towers. Yeah. And I'm going with the princess, as if you've only got one option, you always should. She is hands down the best of the characters. Um, and so if you've only got one option, definitely she's the way to go. We'll speed things up here. This shouldn't be too much trouble at the start. And basically what we need to do is just mainly make sure the princess is at the corridor that is being attacked. So you just want to move her, you don't just want to leave her stationary. Uh, and what we'll do is every time we've got money, we're just going to upgrade these six towers, we're not going to build any more until these six are upgraded. Generally I find in this, you're better off making a tower a lot better um, than having a lot of towers, i.e. you're better off with one five star tower than five one star towers. Um, now the other thing as well, obviously all I'm using here are arrow towers, um, even though I have finished the game, it's very easy to have your arrow towers fully upgraded by this point. So um, I'm not playing in a way that would be unrealistic for the way um, that you would be able to play this if you did come across the level uh, just on your first round through. Basically the, the main part of this is you just got to keep on your toes with your princess. Just make sure that she is moving um, along with where those doors are opening. These big green guys are probably the, the biggest issue you'll have. Um, they do explode into a, a bunch of other guys, so um, yeah, getting them out nice and quick is the, definitely the way to go. get this guy high enough as well, he'll clean up. Okay, so that's our six towers all upgraded now, so what we'll do is we'll just add a few more. Uh, Oops, wrong one, we'll just sell that guy. Luckily it doesn't cost you too much if you do make that sort of mistake. Um, so we will just add one more in each of the three corridors. Move Princess back over. Here's another thing as well, that particular part there is pretty heavy and you are at risk of say one or two guys getting through. Um, that's part of the advantage of this particular way of playing the level. If you do find one or two guys get through, you do have enough money from the guys you do kill. You can just move back here, build two towers and they should be able to pick off that one or two guys that did sneak through your line. So it's sort of like a nice fail safe that you can keep going uh, even if someone does break through this line. This really shouldn't cause us too much grief at this point. Boom, there he goes. That's about it. Um, there's a lot of little guys left after that, but uh, no one's going to get through if that big guy isn't. Um, so yeah, that's basically the way uh, I found to do this one. Uh, any questions or comments, feel free to chuck them below. Uh, also, if there's any other levels that you're having issues with that I haven't made a video for, feel free to mention that, and I'll um, yeah do what I can. Till next time, I'll catch you later.